hero madali maging isang babaeng Muslim sa Pilipinas, hanggang ngayon maliit pa rin ang mundong kanilang ginagalawan. Sa episode na ito, makikilala natin ang isang maranao na babae. Isang babaeng lumalaban para sa mga karapatan ng kapwa niya Muslim. At umaasang balang araw ay makukuha din nila ang pantay na pagkilala sa ating lipunan. Sa kanyang sariling pamamaraan, umaasa siyang mas mabibigyan ng tamang pagkilala ang mga kababaihang Muslim. Ako po si Jenny Jones at sa episode na ito, sundan natin ang buhay ni Amana Busran Lao, isang abogado at community tour guide. Sanay ako sa tao. Oo. Uh-uh. And I always engage with people. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I like being in the presence of people. Especially mm-mm. when the uh, company is diverse. Uh-oh. It is I who offer my hello. Uh-oh. Kasi in, the, in, in, in Islam, which means peace, mm-hmm. you always say Assalamu alaikum, which Uh-oh. means it's, a, it's, you know, it's a tradition. It's Uh-oh. a religious tradition to offer your salam, means Uh-oh. peace. Uh-oh. to your Uh-oh. brothers and sisters in humanity. Uh-oh. So that's what I do. And you give them a smile. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Because that's peace. Eh. You speak of peace mm-hmm. as, you, as you think of it. As you, also, as you feel it, then you also speak of it. So Uh-oh. that's what I do. I like being surrounded by people. Uh-oh. Diverse people. Mm. Pero na-experience mo ba yung, yung ganun? Yung parang medyo... Mm-hmm. Iwas kumbaga kasi yes. nga parang hindi makatingin kasi hindi alam pa paano mag-interact mm-hmm. with you, oo. Me, Mm-mm. kasi nangyari na sa akin yan nung bago pa lang ako Mm-mm. dito sa Metro uh-oh. Manila. In the beginning, hindi ko rin din yung maintindihan. But mm-hmm. you know, as I try to live through each day, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Naintindihan ko na, ah, baka naman kasi naiya sila, mm-hmm. ayun naman nila ma- uh, mas, ma-hurt ka or ma-offend mm-hmm. ka in any way. Mm-hmm. So ako na lang. Mm-hmm. Kasi Islam teaches that eh. Yeah. Sa, ang, pan, ang religion namin says na Uh-oh. you always offer your peace, you Uh-oh. say your hi, mm-hmm. you smile, then mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't hurt to say hi yeah. and smile. Uh-oh. Salam! Ako po si Amana Busan Lao, 33 years old at isa po akong community tour guide. Masayahin si Amana. Laging may nakahandang ngiti para sa sino mang makakasalubong niya. Hindi pala siya simpleng tour guide lang. Isa rin siyang abogado, isang Sharia lawyer. My advocacy has been with women's rights, mm-hmm. particularly yung Muslim mm-hmm. women. Mm-hmm. So that's also the reason why I decided na mag-aral overseas, sa labas, mm-hmm. para matutunan yung human rights, yung context nun. Mm-hmm. Tapos, nung bumalik ako, yun yun yung reason kung bakit ako nag-decide to be a Sharia counselor at law, mm-hmm. uh, which means uh, Sharia lawyer. But my focus has been with women, okay. women's issues. Uh, so, bakit mo naisipan na mag-focus dun sa women's rights? Maganda uh, pag-aralan yung kababaihan, Uh-oh. lalo na ng mga moro, ng mga Uh-oh. Muslim moros. Uh-oh. Kasi not only that, um, we are discriminated against based on our sex, gender, Mm-mm. bilang isang babae. Pero nagiging doble yan. Mm-mm. Pag lagi uh, sinabing, ay minority ka because Mm-mm. you have a tribe. So Mm-mm. that's second Mm-mm. issue. And then in the third one is, you have a religion with you, Mm-mm. which also parang comes against you. Diba? Para bang, yun ang nangyayari. Uh-oh. So parang ang sarap. Ako naman, na-challenge ako to look into that. Bakit mm-hmm. ang hirap ng isang tulad ko 
to mm-hmm. even talk about my rights, mm-hmm. diba? Mm-hmm. Bilang tao. Mm-hmm. So there's a few limitations, kumaga, na we consider before going inside. First is that the requirement was already done, yung masyong mga hija, yung iba na mga Second is we have to take off our Can you expand a little bit more about the Sharia law? Uh, yeah. So Sharia, yeah. Uh, it's an Arabic term which mm-hmm. means Islamic law or Muslim law. So yes, the Philippines has a Sharia mm-hmm. in the con- in the Philippine law. Mm-hmm. So, but it's a special law mm-hmm. for the Muslims. Okay. In the Philippines lang. Uh-oh. So, ano yung mga kinocover niya? Oh, so ang kinocover niya yung mga um, personal laws Mm-mm. namin. For instance, Muslim law, uh, marriage, Mm-mm. succession, okay. and of course, yung litigation ng mga disputes. Okay. Yung mga uh-huh. ma- divorce, marriages uh-huh. is yung uh, kasama na dyan yung divorce, uh-huh. custody ng mga bata. Yon. Ah, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. So, binibigyan mo ng awareness yung mga outside of the yung religion. Yeah. Ah, uh, yun oh, ang ginagawa mo. Ginagawa ko kasi oh. yes, it is a religious in nature, but Mm-mm. it does not mean that it has to be the problems Mm-mm. in Mm-mm. there Mm-mm. have to be limited to us lang. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is, you know, uh Uh, paano ba yan? Kasi Sharia is a huge discussion yan. Okay. That should not be left alone Uh-oh. or only to the hands of the Muslims. Okay. Uh-oh. My idea is this. Dapat ang mga ibang grupo tingnan din ito. Mm-hmm. Lalo na yung mga ibang grupo na nandun sa advocacy ng mga kababaihan. Mm-hmm. Happy advance, happy Yes! Uh, women's women's month. month. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, if you are into women's rights, mm-hmm. No. Yes. So if or if you believe in womanhood, then mm-hmm. it's also good that you look into this area of law. Uh-oh. Because sometimes law is what violates you as human being. Yes, that's right. Because law is meant to be just. Uh-oh. But but when you look around, why is that? Sometimes it's not moral. Exactly. Oh oh, it's a conflict. Sha, sometimes it's immoral. But because law siya. Some people think it's right just yes, because it's part of our uh, legal um, system. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh-oh. But okay. then again, it has it was um, um, made in, uh, crafted passed into law in 1970s. Mm-mm. My God, ano na ngayon? Uh, oh, oh. Yun ang sinasabi ko na it's about time to look into it and then what areas can be changed. Sa Melbourne, Australia, nag-aral tungkol sa human rights si Amana. Pagbalik niya sa Pilipinas, hindi na nagdalawang isip pa si Amana. Seneryoso niya ang paglaban para sa karapatan ng mga kababaihang Muslim. Meron bang actual experience, personal experience hmm. on your side na na-push ka to focus on this or to have this advocacy? Oh yeah. Uh-oh. Number one is, uh, siguro uh, when you look at household, my mom, mm-hmm. I owe it to my mother because mm-hmm. my mother has always been with the advocacy women. Mm-hmm. So parang naman ako yun. Mm-hmm. And then may mga issues din about Maranao women mm-hmm. na at home, mm-hmm. may mga discriminations. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, you, like what discriminations? Like hindering uh, further education, for instance. Okay. Kasi they get married at early age. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think one of the uh, issues talaga that uh, I've uh, in this the start of my uh, advocacy was early marriage talaga. Mm-hmm. In a Muslim in a Maranao in a Muslim Maranao household, talaga ang always talaga yan is marriage. Uh-oh. Like after as, as soon as you're done with college, Uh-oh. I mean tertiary education, you're being Uh-oh. married off. 
you said tertiary meaning college, college. after college expected na yung babae na yeah, makipag-asawa to be married off oh, yeah. oh. ano sila arranged marriage yeah, parental marriage yes. oh, oh. so this is usually mga at the age of 20 or 21 yes oh, oh. so yung boys uh, in the male on the part of the male ano side is i major 22 23 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ano yung nagiging main purpose ng kababaihan sa community ninyo? Bale, to build a home, ganun na lang talaga? Are they allowed to work? or Now, the, 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 uh, there's a shift into the way, Mm-mm. into how this is looked into. No? Noon talaga, strict yan sila. Mm-hmm. Pero lately, yung mga iba, nag-decide na sila. Nagkaroon na, na ng a bit of awareness. Mm-mm. ng mga hindi na siya as practiced as before mm-hmm. kasi the awareness yung mga advocacy has touched the lives of other mm-hmm. women after mm-hmm. ano ayun nilang mangyari yun sa mga anak nila mm-hmm. like may mga pamangkin now they have mm-hmm. work mm-hmm. they have mm-hmm. ano at saka tinatanong sila do you want to uh, get to settle down oh. or ano Kaya naman mas napalapit kay Amana ang travel company na Meaningful Travels PH. Hindi lang kasi simpleng gala o bakasyon ang binibigay ng kumpanya para sa mga turista, kundi travel with a purpose. Isa rito ang pagbisita sa Kiapo na kilalang komunidad ng mga kapatid nating Muslim. Uh, pag-usapan natin yung tour sa oh. Kiapo. Ano pa yung other components of the tour aside from learning Sharia? Ano pa yung mga ginagawa ninyo at pinupuntahan ninyo? Okay. Uh-oh. So this is, ito ay immersive, no? Uh-oh. So, uh, yung mga kababaihan, Mm-mm. may part doon, party doon sa tour na yon na kung saan magsusot sila ng hijab. Okay. So, kahit pa pa, yung mga kababay, mafe-feel nila, mararamdaman nila kung ano yung feeling na nakahijab. No? Yung mga lalaki, kami naman, nag-encourage kami na magsuot sila ng tutub. Ano, pero okay lang din na wala. Mm-mm. Pero for sa mga kababay, kailangan din talaga din nila ma- uh, magsuot ng hijab aside sa experience. Then mm-hmm. kasi, papasok kami ng mosque. Mm-hmm. At yung requirement ng mosque, dapat nakahijab ka. Mm-hmm. Or yung mahaba ang damit. Mm-hmm. Oo, hindi ka naka-shorts mm-hmm. or sleeveless, for instance. Mm-hmm. Oo. So, mga experience din yun. Parang uh-huh. feeling din nila, may mga ibang two, uh, travelers, participants, sabi, ay, feeling ko ano nakabalot na ka. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, natutuwa uh-huh. naman sila because they get to, you know, na-experience nila yung ganon. Uh-huh. So and then after that, papasok kami na mosque. Mm-mm. So we discuss namin yung history ng mosque, bakit essential yung part ng mosque Mm-mm. sa aming mga Muslims. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we tackle, dinidiscuss din namin yung sa, kap- yung sa kabila, yung sa Kiapo Church. Mm-mm. So it's kind of a symbolic kasi may church sa kabila, may mosque dito. Diba? So parang That's ganun. Right. Uh-huh. Ang magandang beauty yan ng Maynila talaga. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Na may dalawang relihiyon uh-huh. na dwelling, you know, positively in these areas. That's diba? right. Uh-huh. And then after noon, we go to the madrasa. Uh-huh. Para din namin ma-display na yung madrasa. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then yung mga participants, they get to experience yung uh, pag, sa loob ng isang madrasa. Uh-oh. na built by community. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then my food, my... And then my food. Uh-oh. After, no? Kasi yes. gutom na, gutom na. Pawis sure. na, pawis na. Uh-oh. So, but before the food, we go to the palengke. Okay. Kasi ano? we have a different... Kasi iba yung business namin. Okay. Kasi wala kaming pork, of course, yes. in the palengke. So it's Uh-oh. nice. Ano yung mga binibenta namin sa palengke? Uh-oh. Aside from the RTW. Uh-oh. So we have the smoke tuna, mga uh-huh. uh, yung sa palapa but that's already finished sakurab yung ingredient ng palapa kasi yung palapa uh-huh. parang in Korea parang siyang kimchi uh-huh. oo, sa so, amin yun, palapa uh-huh. so yung spicy na side uh-huh. ano, uh-huh. Uh-huh. fermented din siya fermented din fresh, siya fresh, fresh, uh-huh. ah, okay and then, so after going, pagkatapos niyo pumunta sa palengke, pum- yun na yun, kasi gutom na sila. Sabi, Uh-oh. ano ba to Matagal pa ba? <laughs> so, how long is the tour? 
sa tourist five hours mata um, maano na yun, five hours kasi yung last naman is debriefing we need to debrief the participants of course ah uh, sa kanila on their part then so that they have the opportunity to check kung somehow positive yung experience mm-hmm. and for us then kung mm-hmm. positive then yung feedback nila mm-hmm. on us on mm-hmm. how we can further improve our mm-hmm. tour pero uh, highly naman positive naman so far uh- Natutuwa si Amana sa magandang pagtanggap ng mga turista sa Quiapo Tour. Yung isa is parang, taga dyan lang ako, pero dinadaanan ko lang to. Maganda pala dito, Ta- mas tahimik kumpara dun sa kabila. Mm-hmm. Oh, yun. So, wow naman, sabi niya, ngayon naiintindihan ko na, hindi naman pala siya nakakatakot. Oh. Sa amin lang din pala, pala yun, mm-hmm. sa amin na. Mm-mm. So parang, parang it's just around the corner, di ba? Oh, so parang, from sa akin, oh wow. Oh, so, oh. sabi ko, uh, yung iba magre-recommend daw doon ng tour. Kasi mm-hmm. yung experience daw talaga mm-hmm. transformative mm-hmm. as much as it is, you know, mm-hmm. meaningful as mm-hmm. what the company yes. aims to yes. ano, okay, so market. How, pa- pa- paano mag-register? How do, how do we join the groups, the tour, at saka... Um, anong oras at saka usually kailan yung schedules for the tours? Ah, okay. So, uh, you go to Facebook. Mm-mm. Sa Facebook po, uh, hanapin lang po ang Meaningful Travels PH. Mm-mm. So, nandun po yung mga nakalist down doon yung Mm-mm. mga tours na available. Isa mm-hmm. doon yung mga uh, Kiapo tour, no? Mm-hmm. But of course, meron din po kami mga ibang tours. Gayon pa man, hindi pa rin talaga nawawala ang stigma pagdating sa mga Muslim. Okay, how about yung stigma kasi dito sa Pilipinas lalo na no. Tapos yung mga kapag tinanong mo yung mga uh, when you go abroad, tatarawi mo sa punta ka na ba sa ano sa Pilipinas mm. kanon tapos ang unang sasabihin nila oh pero hindi kami pupunta sa Mindanao mm-hmm. oh merong merong ganong mindset kumbaga mm-hmm. um meron ka bang na experience na ganon and ano yung maibibigay mong advice ako naman uh, totoo yun may mga insurgencies mm-hmm. naman talaga mm-hmm. in parts of Mindanao mm-hmm. but it's not fair Mm-mm. to generalize. Mm-mm. Kasi may mga areas naman sa Mindanao na safe naman. Correct. Diba? Oo. In fact, nga dito nga rin sa Luzon, may mga areas na hindi safe. Mm-mm. Diba? Mm-mm. So, ganun lang din yun. Oo. Pero wag naman lahatan. Oo. Pero wag naman yung mga Muslim i-blame you for what's happening. Oo. 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 Kasi kami rin, to, honestly, talaga, we don't want violence. We Oo. don't want conflict. Uh-oh. All this time, we only want peace. Because it's what the religion teaches naman. Uh-oh. At saka, who doesn't want to live in peace? Yes, diba? correct. Uh-oh. So, yun yung akin. Uh-oh. Meron bang mga um, groups yeah, who try yeah. to get in touch with you na sasabihin, stop doing that, that's not good, that's oh, bad yeah. for the community? Uh-oh. Not till now naman eh. Uh-oh. Especially now. The, if, uh, as now that the advocacy is tra- uh, increasing mm-hmm. yung awareness mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. trying to empower more women mm-hmm. syempre the other groups na hindi doon sang ayon ano rin sila they are also increasing 
in numbers. Oh, so, anong anong groups yon at saka ano yung weight kumbaga ng kanilang efforts to nag talaga bang sinusubukan nila itigil yung efforts mo for mm-hmm. this advocacy? Anong groups itong mga to at ano yung ginagawa nila? Oo. I'm sure naman na may mga parts. Hindi naman, hindi ko naman nila lahat. No? Mm-hmm. Pero there also a uh, group in the members of the religious groups mm-hmm. na parang hindi sila sang-ayon doon sa mga uh, advocacy na meaning some parts of our advocacy mm-hmm. Oo, mm-hmm. which I believe na we need to have a dialogue on. Aminado si Amana na hindi madali ang advocacy na isinusulong niya at ng mga Muslim leaders sa Pilipinas. Ang Sharia law daw mismo ay kailangan i-review dahil maraming kulang dito. Pero hindi lang dapat ang Muslim community ang may pakialam sa Sharia law kundi maging ibang mababatas na hindi bahagi ng relihiyong Islam. Gano pa kalayo before you achieve what you want to achieve? And what is, kumbaga, yung biggest goal ng, ng advocacy ninyo? Akin lang is that, mm-hmm. ako, there are so many, many things mm-hmm. that need to be done, no? Mm-hmm. Especially with how we look how we look into Sharia, the Philippine Sharia law, the mm-hmm. Philippine Islamic law, or the Muslim law. Mm-hmm. Ang daming mga provisions doon na kailangan tingnan mm-hmm. para uh, maiba. Mm-hmm. Meaning, to review so that baka kailangan na natin, it's about time that we change them. Mm-hmm. Diba? According mm-hmm. to this time. Diba? Mm-hmm. So, kailangan yan. Ang akin lang is, ang gusto ko talaga ma-achieve is that every woman Lahat regardless of ethnicity or religion, mm-hmm. is that we have a choice and that mm-hmm. our choice can be respected. Mm-hmm. You know, our voice can be heard and mm-hmm. then respected mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because that's important as part, because that is important as a person. What does it take to achieve that? Tama ka eh, kasi dapat nagkakaroon ng regular review yan eh, diba? Oh, so what does it take para magawa yun? Ang it thing. takes a holistic view. Mm-hmm. Oh, hindi la- Don't leave it to the lawyers lang ha. Don't leave oh. it to the Muslim lawyers lang. Oh. Other lawyers can look into it. Mm-hmm. Women, don't leave it alone to the women. Mm-hmm. Leave it to the policy makers then. It Correct. has to be a look into collectively and holistically. Mm-hmm. Oh. Correct. Okay. Wag day di- one dimension yan. Uh-huh. Kasi sasabihin yan, ay Islamic law yan, wag natin yung pakialaman. Sa mga uh-huh. Muslim lang yan. Uh-huh. Ay, wag naman kung ganun. Kasi uh-huh. we also need your help. Uh-huh. How do you see this? Correct. Because your perspective is as important as our perspective. Uh-huh. Diba? Tama. Nananatiling positibo si Amana na may magandang resulta ang advocacy nila. Abutin man ng ilang taon ang kanilang paghihintay. Sa ngayon, ito na lang muna ang masasabi niya. Ang lang, my message, ang mensahe ko po sa mga kapwa kong Muslim mm-hmm. na kababaihan is to value your voice. Yung boses po ay importante po yan. Mm-hmm. Oo. Kasi part po yan ng pagiging tao. Tama. Your voice. Opo. Mm-hmm. Oo. And to the public, and pagdating dun sa stigma na ano. Kami po ay friendly. Huwag po kayong mag oh. Mas maingay po kami. <laughs> oh. yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're peaceful citizens, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Why don't we offer peace, love to one another? Mm-hmm. Kaibigan, pagiging mm-hmm. kaibigan, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. Kasi masaya pag kalimbara, Ramadan namin, then invite ka namin, di ba? Mm-hmm. Mapil mo rin, ay, ganito pala ang Ramadan. O, di ba? Tapos pag Christmas niyo, o, ganito pala ang Christmas. But Christmas, may mga invitations naman sa akin. Mm-hmm. At how I wish na yung other Muslim women get to experience that. Ah, oh, okay. O, kasi iba rin yun eh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or Turkey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> di ba? It's good, it's good, because it's called interfaith, diba? Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, we're one humanity. Mm-hmm. Ako po si Amana Busan Lao, at isa po akong Lodi. Umaasa kami na sa episode na ito ay mas nakilala natin ang mga kababaihang Muslim. Ano man ang relihiyon natin, pantay-pantay ang karapatan natin mga kababaihan. 
Ako po si Jenny Jones at sa susunod na episode ng Dodgy, muli niyo po akong samahan sa pagsunod ng mga taong. Kung hindi man laman ng telebisyon ay may itatawag pa mga Dodgy.